Hello everybody, I'm making a video today about how to hack your Switch so that you can have all the games on there. Um, the first thing to know about if you can do it or not is that the newer models you cannot do it, you can hack it, but the older flood models you can hack it. The way to know if it's hackable or not is go to the website below, I'll put it in the description and you'll find out if it's patched or not. If it's unpatched, you're good to go, but if it's patched, then you can't do it, so you might as well stop watching now. Or you can just watch it this for your own information purposes, or even go buy a switch. But you'll have to find out, you have to make sure you buy the right one with the right serial number. To find the serial number, it's just on the bottom of your switch, it's right there. And just look at those numbers on the, with the white and go to the website and see if yours is okay. If it is, then very good. You can do what I've done. And this is what I've done. Okay, what I've done here is, can I use this? All right, what I've done here is we've hacked our switch. All right, now, hold on a sec. All right, now this is all the games we have because what we did was we put custom, custom firmware on there. Alright, so the custom firmware is called Atmosphere. Now, by putting Atmosphere on, you're able to then put this app on called Tinfoil, which is a really good app and allows you to back up your games or you can even download them. But that's pirate and you don't want to do that. But um, you yeah, can back up your games if you already own them. It's perfectly fine to back up your games onto, the, onto your SD card. Your SD card, you will need at least a 64 gigabyte SD card. No lower than that. What we have is a 128 gigabyte SD card and we've able, we were able to fit 36 games on there. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. By six is 36. And um, so you can, I can go into any of these games. And the reason I'm showing you now is because I'm not gonna get another chance to do this. So I've got to show you now before, because I don't want to have to do this again. I want, I want to put a, half a terabyte card in there and swap it out for my 128 gigabyte one. So that's what I'm doing now and this is what I'm showing you. This will be the first part and the second part, the first part will deal with putting into custom firmware and explaining everything and the second part will be about games. So I can go into any one of these games and, and play them. So as you can see, there's no problem to play this game. That's a game we bought recently, and I've backed it up onto the SD card, so I don't need to use the game cartridge any longer. So, if I want to play this, I just push A, and it should work. But, I haven't gamed in a long time, so I don't really know what I'm doing yet. And there we go. So, now I'm playing the game Mario. 3D, whatever. All right, now, after you've checked your serial number and it's not, your switch is not patched and you're good to go, well, now, you need to follow me. You'll need a few things in order to, to put the custom firmware on there. Those things being, all right, come over here. This is what you'll need. Okay. You'll need your SD card, 64 gigabytes or higher. I've got a 512 one here. That little thing is holding half a terabyte. Amazing. All right. You'll need a, an adapter to plug it into your PC. And funny enough, you need a, what should we call it? A paper clip. While you're at it, while we're doing this, all right, a paper clip is pretty easy to use it only, I've done it on my first shot and I'll show you how it's pretty easy but to make it a lot easier go buy this for like five dollars it'll come within three days it's called an RCM jig recovery mode jig RCM jig you need that and I'll show you how and why later but for now you're using a paper clip and that's how we done it to begin with so now to put your custom firmware on this is what you need to do you need to take your switch, you need to take your switch, and what you need to do 
is hold the power button and turn it off. Power options, power off. So it's totally off. All right, it must be totally off. Now, once you've done that, you will take out your SD card or get your SD card. In our instance, we're gonna take out our SD card. All right, and now there's no SD card in there and I'm gonna be putting in my half a terabyte, but we don't put it, we're not gonna put it in just yet. All right, so you're gonna get your SD card, you're gonna put it into your PC adapter, SD card PC adapter thing to go on your computer. Now, you'll need a paper clip. Now, what you need to do is you need to, I'll give you a quick rundown. You need to put the switch into RCM mode, recovery mode. In order to do that, what you must do is hold down the power button, sorry, hold down the volume up button and push the power button. If you, if your switch is able to be patched, it will go into a blank screen. It will be black like that. If you do what I just said and it stays black like that, then it, yours works. It goes into recovery mode. If it doesn't do that and just boots up as normal, well, yours is patched and you can't do it. All right, so the way to put it in recovery mode is as follows. You first, you need, you need to do something else first, but you put it, you hold down the volume plus button and push the power button. But before you do that, this is what you must do. You must remove the right Joy-Con and in here, you will see, I don't know if I can get that okay. All right, zoom it in if you can. All right. Can you see in there? Right, in there. Anyway, you can't, you can't really see it, but look in yours. Look in your switch now, and you'll see a little, little pins there, like, um, what you call it? You will see like, like on the USB. See on the USB how there's, there's those copper pins? You'll see in there 10 of them. There's 10 of them and they're facing like this. They're facing in like that. All right, so with the, with the, um, the pins will be on, on this outer plastic on the inside of it, okay? You have a look, you'll see it. There's 10 pins in all, all right? Now, the idea of this paper clip, the idea of this paper clip is what you want to do is you need to bridge pin one and pin 10. The last one and the first one, okay? You must bridge it with this paper clip, all right? I will show you in the description a website that describes exactly how to do it. But I found that it's pretty easy and it's pretty much the same size, the paper clip. All right? This paper clip is pretty much the same size as the rail, all right? So all you need to do is pretty much cut this there and bend it in a certain way. I'll actually make one and I'll show you in a minute. I'll, I'll, I'll edit it, right, I'll pop it right in here and I'll show you how it's gonna look like when you're done. And you put it in there and bridge pins one and 10. Once you've done that, it just makes, you'll see what I mean when I make it. You pop that in, so it bridges the pins, one and 10. Then you hold down volume plus button and hit the power button, all right? And then you'll be in RCM mode. Like I said, if yours boots up like normal, that means that yours can't be patched, all right? But what should happen is it stays black like that, nothing happens, all right? That's why you need this RCM jig. Go buy it for $5 and it'll be here, be at your house within two or three days maybe sooner if you're in America. And then instead of instead of using paper clip to bridge the pins, all you do is you get this RCM jig and you shove it in there, or don't shove it, you just put it in there like you do your, your Joy-Con, push it all the way down and that's it. And that's that's the point, that's the pins uh, bridged like, just like that, okay? Now, to put it into RCM mode, now all I need to do, you're getting it, well, all I need to do is hold down volume plus button and press the power button and let go. 
just like I was turning on, then let go of everything. As you can see, nothing happened, but it did inside. It's uh, Now I'm in RCM mode. If yours booted up, then you're likely your paper clip is wrong. Fix your paper clip, bridge it, and just some advice, the way I did it, is to make sure that the pins are uh, bridged. Get your phone, take a picture of it, like I just try to show you. Take a picture of it, and like, like that, and then make sure it's focused, and zoom it in, and you'll easily see if the pins are bridged. It's pretty easy to do, all right? So don't, don't let this, you know, bother you or make you think it's too hard. If you're a kid, maybe ask a grown-up to help you, but you'll be right, you can do it, okay? I know you can do it. If you have any questions, just ask me, I'll comment, uh, put, a, put a comment, I'll reply straight away if you need any help with any of this, okay? Now, all you need to do is that, and I shouldn't have removed that because I was already in RCM mode. Now I don't even know what I should do. I shouldn't have removed that. Should I? Let me do it again. Hold down the volume plus button. I've never done that before and I shouldn't have done that. And hit the power button. And again, nothing happened. So I've got to be in RCM mode now. Okay, now we get our, our what's the keys, this thing, all right? And we're gonna shove it in our computer. Let's go put this in our computer. You need that atmosphere program, all right? So type in atmosphere. We're up to version 19 at the moment. All right, type in atmosphere download, and that's it. It'll be the first one that comes up. Bang. It'll go to GitHub. I don't know why it's going there. It should go to GitHub. All right, we're in GitHub, and at, we're at atmosphere 0.19.1. That's the most latest one that figured out uh, the new update, Nintendo update version 12. And that's a whole different story. But um, anyway, that's what you need on GitHub. The link will be in the description below. And go scroll down and you wanna download the first one, Atmosphere Master plus homebrew, all that stuff. It's a zip file, all right? So press that and it'll download. While you're at it too, download WinRAR. So you can, Windows should be able to ex extract zip files anyway, but I like to use WinRAR, which is much better in my opinion. All right, so to get WinRAR, same as everything else, Google, type in WinRAR, Win, W-I-N-R-A-R, -R, enter and download this program for free, it's the first one. Download that WinRAR program, and once that's installed, it will help you extract files. But like I said, Windows will do that automatically without that program, but I like to just download that, that's good advice. All right, so you go to Windows Explorer, once that's done, go to your downloads, and here I have Atmosphere. All right, so right click, and now you want to extract the Atmosphere. All right, now the atmosphere is extracted. Go to the, the <laughs> atmosphere thingo and you've got everything there. We need Tegra. Teg, Tegra GUI RCM is what the thing is called. And that's what we want. And we're gonna get everything from GitHub. GitHub here. All right, so. That's what we're gonna get. Tegra. Um, what happened now? Okay, this is what we want here. This is, um, you can either get the portable one or the um, Windows installer. I go for the Windows installer. What did you do? You done the inst Windows installer? Yes, All right, so did I. Alright, so we're just gonna download that. And that's your injector. This is the program that you use to inject the payloads onto your switch while it's in RCM mode. As you recall just before, our switch is in now RCM mode. Okay, we have a cable plugged into our computer, which is gonna plug in soon to the switch. But first we need this Tegra RCM GUI. Right now it's version 2.6, okay? When that's done installing, just click on it. All right, it all comes from GitHub. Next, all right, and 
That's it. What what are we doing now? What's happening here? If you already got it on there, that's why, huh? Alright. And install that. Alright. So are you sure you want to cancel? Yes, we want to cancel it. I'm only I'm only doing that because we've already got it installed on this computer. That's why. Where is it? It's here. See? And once it's installed, it'll look like a switch there on your desktop. That'll come on your desktop, and that's it. So you just click on that, and then when it's new and you've just done it, go to um, settings and install the driver there. That's what we need to do, install driver. And that'll install the driver so it recognizes the switch. All right, so now you've got this Tegra RCM GUI. You've got that in RCM mode by using your paper clip. All right, your paper clip. All right, needs to bridge pins one and 10. And all you do is, what I did, is get your paper clip, all right? And open it like that, and cut one end off. Cut this end off, like so. And you've got this. Make sure these ends are even, okay? Make sure the ends are even, like so. All right, now you make sure they're the same size as the rail because it's on both sides. 10 is on one side, one is on the other. All right, make them the correct, all right? That's the pretty much the right size already, the size of the paper clip. So then all you need to do is about the width of the pliers, give it a little kink like that on both of them. All right, give it a little kink like that and that's it. You, you'll learn the right amount, that's probably too much. So you just give a little kink like that, all right? And that will be just enough to put in there, all right? Now, once it's like that, you've got it like that, all right? That will, wait, hang on, um, yes. So where I've kinked it, here where I've kinked it, that will be where it's touching the pin, all right? But then you can't get in and out properly. So then up here, give it another kink. A bit more, um, a bit more bigger kink, so that you can grab grab it with your fingers. All right, now you've got it. Now you just put that in instead of that. This is your paper clip RCM jig, and you just put it in there. And like I said, take a photo and focus in, and then zoom in, and you'll be able to tell if it's touching the pins. You need to bridge pins ten and one. That's all. All right, once you've done that, all right, or you can just wait for the RCMG, but you can do the paper clip pretty easy. Then, all right, you push the, hold the volume up button and hit the pop volume button for just a half a second. Let go, let go, and then you're in RCM mode. Now, you're in RCM mode, you've put it into the, you've put it into, uh, put Tegra RCM GUI on, and that's going. What you need to do is get your wire that's plugged into your computer and plug it in to your bottom of your switch, which is USB-C. All right. Once you've done that, you should see it turn into green RCM OK. Straight away, that'll happen. If it doesn't happen after straight away, after five seconds, then something's gone wrong. Start again. <laughs> Try again. Also, you want to download this fusiprimary.bin download that all right those two things you will need okay when that's done the what you need to do is browse this on the Tegra and go to your downloads folder and that Fusi primary dot bin you just downloaded all right you click on that double click that and that's the payload you want to inject all right now I'm gonna hit inject payload and straight away I have an error. That shouldn't happen. All right? So let me figure this out and I'll be back. Okay, with Movie Magic, what I did was I copied the 128 gigabyte card I had to this one. Um, and so it should work. I don't see why it won't. Uh, so you should have on your card the atmosphere files on your card. Just copy it into the root like I showed you and stick it in. While it's off, you stick it into the switch. All right. 
Now you need to put in RCM mode if you haven't already. I probably already told you to do that. So use your paper clip or if you've got this RCM jig, use that. All right, bridge pins one and 10. RCM mode, hold the, the volume up button, push the power button. All right, that should be RCM mode now. Now we need to plug it in. Remember files will be in the description. All right, now what we need to do is open Tegra and RCM OK, that should be green. Browse and look for your fusiprimary.bin which you downloaded off the Atmosphere GitHub thing and inject the payload. Now, as soon as you do that, pretty much right away, the Atmosphere will come up onto your thing, onto your switch, just like that. So, I usually wait a little bit, you don't need to, but I think that's enough, isn't it? All right, can unplug it now. Take out the RCM jig or your paper clip. Put the Joy-Con back in. And there you have it guys, you've got atmosphere on your switch. Now, next video I'll teach you how to do the games and install tinfoil etc. And um, I'll make a third video after that teaching you how to back up your NAND, which is the system files. So if you ever have a problem, you can restore it back to how it was before you touched it. So that's it for this video, you should have custom firmware now. Like, subscribe, and all that sh stuff. And also, um, can stay su subscribed for the other videos. And <clears throat> with the custom firmware, pretty much just go into album. Don't do this by yet. Don't do this. Uh, these things yet. These at all. Never use these three ever again. The Nintendo ones. You go into album, and you'll find in album, um, you'll find. Daybreak and the App Store which you can use and you find games and stuff in the App Store But to get the proper f stuff you need tinfoil and I'll teach you that on the next one and We don't want to do that and what? Um, the last thing I want you to do is to block all Nintendo servers and to do that It's called 90 DNS. I've made a text file and I'll put that in the description below It's just a matter of, of doing this all right, you go into your settings, okay, and then you go into internet, um, internet settings, press your internet, whichever Wi-Fi you're using, and then change the settings, and then go to your DNS settings, and click manual, manual, anyway, um, I don't need to change mine. And, oh, there you go. If you can see that, you change the primary DNS and the secondary DNS. The primary is that number, and the secondary is that number. Change those numbers, and it'll block all Nintendo servers, and you shouldn't get banned ever. And that's it for this video. Uh, stay tuned for the next ones, and then you'll be playing in no time.